This is the Old Guy Network. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the old guy, the OG, Jay. You know who you are. Well, usually I have these videos uploaded around 7 a.m. Uh, this one's late. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff to do. Uh, I thought once the trailer was all done that, you know, I could... You know, my life would be a lot easier. I could just kind of coast. And no, I've got so much stuff to take care of. Um, I'm trying to get everybody paid, and uh, I wanted to go and get the new smoke detectors for Debbie's new trailer, new used trailer. We'll call it that. Um, and I did. I went to Home Depot yesterday, and I got some more information about the sawzall. And the most important thing is, I got not only one, not two, but three smoke detectors these are basic smoke detectors nothing fancy but hey they'll keep your uh, they'll, they'll let you know if there's a if there's a problem in your house due to fire and smoke so yeah I thought we'd do a, a quick imbo uh, impromptu unboxing I was gonna say an inboxing I don't know what the hell that is but uh, yeah I got these at Home Depot and they were really inexpensive but uh, they've got the UL listing so they're they're good We've got the directions, We've got the little mounting hardware, and the nice thing about these is the ones that were in the, the mobile home before that were gone when I got there, but the these little mounting plates were still in the mobile home, and I believe they're the exact same ones, so I should be able to go in and just clip these right in and not have a problem. So let's test these right now, we'll test this one anyway, and see if it works. So this is, who makes this? Good one. <laughs> Good one smoke detectors. Okay, smoke alarms. Comes with a battery, but the battery is in backwards, so it doesn't drain the battery while it's being shipped or sold. Just turn the battery around. And then we put that back on. It's that simple. And then it has uh, three positions here on the switch. You push to test it, so we're going to push and hold. All right, that's very loud. Push to hush, just push it once. Oh, and then it says uh, test weekly, so you know that's always a good idea. So let's test it right now. I've got a uh, cigarette going, so I thought I would let's let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, there we go. That, that is a pretty high piercing sound. Uh, all right, well, we got three of these. They actually do work, as you can see. And uh, now the smoke is cleared. So that's pretty good. And these were actually about six bucks a piece. They're not, and they include the batteries. So that's not too bad. So that's what we're putting in there today. Uh, and uh, hopefully. If Debbie burns anything on the stove again, or in the oven, or whatever, um, this will uh, this will alert her. I thought we'd put one in the bedroom, we'll put one in the kitchen, and then uh, or kitchen and living room, and then put one in the hallway, and uh, she should be all all set. And Debbie, if you're watching this video, if you uh, want to get more, they have these at Home Depot. They look pretty good. Um, they basically are the same ones that were in it before, I believe, because I believe the bases are exactly the same. So there's a inexpensive smoke detector, smoke alarms, and I'm putting that in there, and I'm not even charging you for these. I'm th these, and and this doesn't come out of the, the the money we made on the trail. This I'm doing this myself because you know, hey, why not? Give back a little bit, right? And I want to keep you safe, so. There you go, three smoke detectors, and I will test the other two just to make sure that they work. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's uh, that's pretty good. And as I said, I went to uh, Home Depot yesterday. Uh, I needed to get information and uh, on a few different things. Uh, one, a generator. I am going to have a generator this year because we we've already lost the power here in this park for a, a few hours uh, due to a windstorm we had a couple days ago. Uh, so I'm I'm not. I'm not going through that again. Last year we lost the power a couple times. Once uh, 
this, this park actually lost it for about two days in the winter. Uh, no, I'm not doing that again. So I am going to get a generator, but there's no generators to be found here. I found that out, uh, so I've got one on order. And as soon as I get that, we will do an unboxing. I'm not sure what the brand's going to be yet. Uh, I've been looking at a DeWalt, but I just can't get them. I talked to a generator expert, a good friend of mine, actually he is the OG in training Zane's father, John, and John uh, gave me a whole bunch of information about different generators and uh, the DeWalt generator that I want, I believe it was a 6500 um, series size, and uh, which is great, you know, over 6K, that'll handle the whole trailer, uh, it was a DeWalt electric start really nice and I found out that Generac actually makes the generators for DeWalt and he says that the portable generators the ones like the one I'm gonna get are really nice they're good um, don't know about the other Generac generators but for those just specifically they're pretty good generators that's what he's that's what he told me I, he said I wouldn't be disappointed so I'm hoping to get one of those if not maybe I'll just get a Generac or or something else I'm gonna have him uh, check that out so I will be able to do an unboxing of sorts and uh, then uh, perhaps we'll have John come over and he's got to put an interface in to uh, hook the generator up to the trailer so it'll run everything if we need it to and uh, I can do a video on that as well and show you just what uh, you have to do to hook up a generator so that would be pretty good it's just I can't get one right now the other thing I cannot get is a Milwaukee Sawzall nobody has one and there's a reason for it the one that I wanted to get they're not going to make anymore it's been discontinued uh, the new models are coming out the brand new models so the only one I could get in this area uh, was a display model and it was in pretty rough shape uh, it's amazing how much you know people handle these things when they're on display and I just I, I, I just I, I couldn't get it uh, I wanted to give a brand new tool away after we do the unboxing so I'm heading over to another place today, probably going over to Lowe's, and we're going to look at other reciprocating saws because I still want this to be a reciprocating saw. Did want to get the saws all, but we'll look at the DeWalt's and uh, see if we can get a nice DeWalt saws all, uh, a reciprocating saw with a battery, and uh, then we'll do the unboxing as soon as I get that. So again, I'm. I'm so disgusted with this whole Sawzall thing. It's taken two months, uh, and this is never going to happen again. Next time, I'm not even going to mention an, an unboxing, except for my generator, because that's for me. But I'm not even going to mention any unboxings and giveaways until I have the product right in my hand. I learned that, and, and, and I knew better. I shouldn't have done that anyway. So I'm going to go research that today, hopefully uh, be able to pick up something. I want to keep it around $200, because that's what I promised that I would you know, give away something. It was a $200 value. So I'm going to get that uh, going in just a couple of minutes. Then uh, try to get the rest of the stuff around here. I get the rest of the stuff done around here. You got to understand in the fall, uh, fall happens really quickly. Uh, leaves are everywhere. Pine needles are everywhere. I've got to uh, try to make some space in the shop so that I can bring stuff in that, that I've had outside uh, all summer long. And, uh, there's a lot to do so that's why this video is so late because I've been you know running around here just so confused mostly but uh, I'm gaining on it and uh, hopefully I'll have some some information for you on the next video so I'm gonna go take care of that now we know at least we know we have three good smoke detectors for the mobile home and there they are and I'm gonna go put those in today too if I can so yeah i've got a lot to do i don't know what you're doing today but i hope you're having a good time while you're doing it and i hope the sun is shining the birds are singing and and uh the squirrels are playing wherever you are and uh, i hope it's a great day that's going to do it for me and on this late video i am the og i'm the old guy and for the old guy network i'm out <laughs>